Wow, I am reviewing some new dolls that I just received in the mail today. What is happening on this channel? Well, I want to start out by saying that I haven't exactly been keeping up with the Barbie cutie reveal series because unfortunately Mattel did what I was afraid that they were going to do and they got a little lazy with recycling the face sculpts that they were going to be using on the next wave of dolls like each wave seemed to be recycling the exact same faces so I haven't really picked one up since wave one but I'm always excited whenever I hear that they're going to be releasing a new wave of dolls because I really like this collection, like I love the concept, I think they're cute for what they are, and who knows, maybe I will like one of them in this wave. But Amazon has been really lazy with uploading the out-of-box stock images for these dolls, so nobody has really seen what they look like, like we don't really know what faces are under these masks and I have been extremely impatient. I have been extremely impatient. I have been hunting around the internet trying to find somebody who has unboxed them just to see what face sculpts that they use. So I decided to take it upon myself to order three of them. I only have the monkey, the elephant, and the toucan back there. I only didn't get the tiger because somebody actually already unboxed the tiger and she used the face sculpt from the newer fashionista with the orange floral dress. So I'm trying not to do too much editing now, but uh, I will put in a picture of what she looks like just so that you all can see what face sculpt she uses. The screening isn't really all that much different than the fashionistas. It's just that she has little star catch lights in her eyes. I mean, that's really the only difference apart from the hair length from the fashionista. Anyway, nobody has seen what these three faces look like until today. So I'm gonna be starting out with looking at the monkey. This is the monkey cutie reveal from the Jungle series. This is the upcoming series and they are not in stores yet. They are available on Amazon So whenever they do uh, Whenever they are available in stores, this is what the box is gonna look like. All right Well, I was trying to open this I realized that Mattel Upgraded that little piece of tape that they used to keep the lid shut. It is now a full piece of tape or this might be a roll of plastic that continues around the lid so you know I've been seeing a lot of these open in stores and missing parts so I'm not surprised but it just requires a little bit more work to get them open so here is what the monkey cutie reveal jungle series doll looks like straight out of its packaging I think it's really funny thinking about I know that the designer of this collection is a white woman and I know that in her head, like designing this way, she had to be like, whatever you do, don't make the monkey black. Don't make the monkey black. Because this this concept, like a monkey Barbie, is it's a controversy waiting to happen. You all know what I mean. But you can see that the monkey has some flower catch lights for its eye buttons. They're still doing the buttons. There hasn't really been any noticeable quality drop for the fursuits in this wave that I can see. Now, moment of truth. I assume this is going to be the Millie in the collection. So is she going to be the open mouth Millie or the closed mouth Millie? <gasps> oh, okay. So she uses the closed mouth version of the Millie sculpt. It's kind of cold in Nashville right now, so you can see her makeup is already a little opaque, but I have with me actually a cold Mountain Dew, so I'm gonna just mash her face against that so that I can see what her makeup looks like fully, but yeah, she uses the closed mouth version of the Millie head sculpt, and it's actually really, really pretty. I think this is a really pretty screening for Millie. She's got some nice uh, detail in her eyebrow. She has some flower catch lights in her eyes. And she it looks like her makeup is going to be yellow eyeshadow 
and pink stars, or they look like asterisks on her cheeks. This is a really pretty Millie. See, I, I keep telling people this, but nobody really wants to listen to me, but a lot of people will say that they hate the Millie sculpt, and I'm like, why do you hate the sculpt when really what you need to be hating is how they paint it? Because as you can see, Millie can look very, very beautiful given the right facial screening. And I think this is a really beautiful Millie. I wouldn't say that she's better, or I wouldn't say that she's prettier than the bunny from the first wave. I think I still prefer the bunny. But let, let me see if I can actually get her makeup to show up completely. Let's see. It looks like to me that just kind of made the uh, stars a little bit brighter. And you see, I, I, if, if you apply heat to it, then, well, shit, my hands must not be that warm. Let me try something else. <coughs> so I just shoved her in my mouth. And as you can see that the um, heat from my throat actually made her makeup disappear. So, her makeup disappears with warm water, just in case you don't want those stars on her cheeks. Or you could just take them off with a little bit of acetone. So here is what the monkey looks like in her second outfit. And doesn't that look cute? I love how her, uh, like the sweater part of her fursuit actually reverses into this banana pattern uh, sweater. I mean, this is so, so cute and and just a little tidbit of trivia, bananas are actually my favorite fruits. Probably something to do with my native Honduran blood. And she also comes with this uh, dual tone pair of elastic shorts. You can see it's half pink, half yellow. And also she comes with a yellow high top and a pink high top. As for her accessories, she comes with this pair of yellow flower glasses. This is such a cute outfit, actually. And they have the same articulation as before, so like not really any sort of, like I said, not really any sort of drop in quality significantly. The hair texture is also saran, so. Pretty positive unboxing so far. And here is the Barbie Cutie Reveal elephant straight out of her packaging. I gotta say these little hoop things are a little disturbing to me. I'm gonna take a wild guess and I'm gonna say that she's either gonna use Alec or Dea or the Albino's head sculpt or Carnival. It's gonna be one of them. All right, ready? Oh, Mbili? Wow! Wow, that is such a beautiful screening for her. Oh my goodness. Wow, I did not expect, I, I love Mbili. She is one of my favorite black Barbie head sculpts. She's the sculpt that was used in the Sew and Style doll line, by the way. Man, she is so beautiful. I love her red lipstick and her green eyeshadow and her like, like uh, like amber eyes, like that is so, so, so cool. She's so pretty. Yeah, honestly, I'm not feeling her second outfit as much as the first one, but her facial screening definitely more than makes up for it. I do really like her chunky green shoes though. This is a really cool piece. I might end up painting the bottom of those white though, and maybe even the laces. You can see that her top reverses into this blue, gray, white, and green leaf pattern. And she also comes with an elastic, like almost scaly. It looks kind of like an elephant skin does up close, a uh, blue skirt. I am sad that they aren't making the unique like headpieces. Cause remember in the first wave they were doing like bear ears and cat ears, but now they're just giving them sunglasses. And that makes me a little sad. So she comes with a pair of green sunglasses and uh, yeah, I prefer her without them or just on her head. Well, her screening though, 
really, really took me off guard. I didn't expect her to be so pretty. Uh, let me see if this does anything for her. Hmm. I feel like there's, I feel like there's something showing up on her skin, like little red dots around her eyes, but they blend in with her skin tone so much that it's kind of hard to see. But they look little, like little hearts are appearing below her eyes. And here is the Barbie Cutie Reveal Jungle Series Toucan, straight out of its packaging. And I love how they did its wings. This is so, so cool. This is going to be such a fun accessory for kids. And uh, I, the, the only thing I'd say is that I wish it was double-sided. I do. But if you just display her from the front, then you won't even notice. What I do know about her, though, is that she comes with this really cool pair of rainbow stockings that I'm definitely going to use to restyle eventually. All right. I'm gonna guess that she she's gonna be an Asian doll, so they're either gonna use Olivia or they're gonna be using the GRB52 head sculpt that Mattel will not tell me what the actual name of her is. All right, moment of truth. Oh, I knew it. They used the GRB52 head sculpt that they have already used a million times in the q reveal series. She's so pretty, but at the same time, it's like, damn, I already have a million of her in this skin tone. Like, can you not use somebody else? Mattel has like a million head sculpts and they choose to use like five at a time. Well, I was about to say, I guess she doesn't come with a second pair of pants because she got the leggings, but I realized that you can actually turn her wings, like her wings are on a Velcro and you can turn that into a skirt for her. I think that's such a cool idea and I really is she she has to be my second favorite outfit out of the lot just because her toucan costume actually transforms into this really 90s like jungle pattern which I think is so cool and her uh, accessory that she comes with is a pair of purple sunglasses with stars on the side and for her shoes she comes with these like faux heels which I, why couldn't they have just given her heel feet i mean come on but she's still a really really beautiful doll and you can see in the process of me unboxing her i accidentally took off her lipstick some of these designs i like better without the color reveal feature and some of them i like with it so she is one of those i feel like i like her better with the purple lipstick so i'm gonna have to give it back to her so that was the barbie keterville jungle series uh it's not my favorite way that they put out i hope that in the future whenever mattel makes another wave of cutie reveal because these dolls have been very successful i'm sure that they will be continuing for a very long time i hope they get a little bit more creative with what face sculpts they choose for the dolls. But, and also what I think would be really cool is if they did a Halloween wave of these, that would be awesome. Like, please steal that idea from me. If you haven't already, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy my content to support my channel. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.